Welcome back. Today we're going to clean a camper for you to teach you how to like get it all ready for this upcoming camping season. And then you can also watch this video when you close down your camper and put it in storage. Just want to make sure everything's nice and clean so that when you're out camping and enjoying your time off, you're not cleaning because that's the last thing you want to be doing. I'm actually a bit of an expert at keeping an RV clean because I lived in my camper for a whole entire year while I built my house. And that actually inspired me to write my RV cleaning guide because I kept on like Googling how to clean absolutely everything. And I found that there wasn't that much information online. So I'll put a link in the description for you for my RV guide, but let's get started. Window, so your window screens get really, really dirty because the dust and everything's get stuck in them in an RV when you're driving and the window tracks. And then the window screens are actually really easy to pop out. They're just on like little springs. Look how easy that is. And then we're gonna wash it. All right, and then look at like the window tracks. So window screens and tracks here. Look at how there's some bugs all in there and like, there's one, two, three, four dead bugs and the tracks get really dirty. Just like this is, dust comes into campers. So we're gonna clean it all up, vacuum first, then we're gonna wipe them. And Mr. Clean, which is always our fave for window tracks. I have it in a spray bottle here. And then, these aren't too groovy or horrible, so I'm just gonna wipe them. We're gonna pressure wash outside, so I'm not too concerned about the outside, but look at that. Instant satisfaction. There's some, this is glue, so that's not gonna come off. But the dead bugs did. Let's see. Hmm, not as bad as I thought it was actually. It looked dirtier than it is, right? You need to clean your fridge. And one thing with your fridge too, when you're like storing your RV, you wanna keep it, the fridge propped open so that this isn't like airtight sealed for the whole entire winter season when you're storing it because it's gonna get disgusting and stinky. Um, look at. Uh, we're gonna scrub these out. Make sure you're hooked up to water and power. We just learned that the hard way. <laughs> um, when you're cleaning the camper, because if you run out of water and you don't also don't want like your water all to run into your tanks because you're gonna have to empty your tanks too. Just an important piece of information that we neglected to think about before we came here today. I'm using as much spray cleaner as I can here because um, just like using the least amount of water a lot of, and some of you might not have a water hookup some people never have water hookups so you have to like fill your camper just to clean it you don't want to have to do that so you don't have to rinse this clorox spray it's fine and it works really good and it gets rid of like stink see that looks great <laughs> go away your stove top. So a lot of people don't actually cook in their RVs. They usually like cook outside or on the fire, but if you have a rainy day and you start cooking and then it looks like this, you know, like a good camper cleans their kitchen right from the get go. Okay. I'm gonna just hit this with some Dawn Power Wash cause it's like gentle and a little less harsh than whatchamacallit oven cleaner. Cause I think it's probably gonna lift it if I just let it sit. We will see. We've let the Dawn Power Wash sit here and do its job. Look how it's like all kind of whatever foamed and wipe it up. Oh, I might have to spray it one more time here. Look at that. How diggity dog. <laughs> a really good hack for your RV if you have like a mice problem or if you're worried about mice coming in and nesting, put dryer sheets in all of your storage areas and that's just gonna get rid of, it. the smell from them deters mice. And I think it also deters like bugs and ants, but peppermint oil on like a couple of cotton balls would also work. That will definitely keep them away, but you don't like peppermint oil on this type of particle board, melamine, plastic, cheapy stuff is can take the finish right off. So it's always best to go with these. You wanna clean up your bathroom. Lots of people don't use their showers, but they still get dirty with like bugs and dust and everything. You also wanna be really conscious of what you're putting down your drain into your tank. Really like bleach is the one thing that I'm trying to stick to because you don't want chemicals and everything mixing down there. So uh, if you're gonna spray it down, you can even just use like, you could also use like warm water and dish soap. And then you need to rinse your shower out after you do this. So, and the toilet and the sink. <laughs> I don't know, was that stupid? Okay. <laughs> now we wanna mop the floors because I know a lot of you don't even mop your house floors. 
Now you have to mop your RV floors, which seems like a lot of work, but these are filthy and everyone wears their shoes in it. So clean the floors using some hot water and powder type. That's it for today, guys. We actually did want to pressure wash the outside of the camper, like the exterior, but it's thundering and lightning outside. So we're just going to have to leave that for another day. Um, make sure that you comment below if you think of anything that like we missed or stuff that you want to see and we can borrow someone else's camper and get to work.